we need to succeed. We need to move forward. And if you become complacent and you become too satisfied with today, you will not succeed tomorrow. One of the things I did at Disney was I was the chairman of the Diversity Council really for the last, what was the last six years. I've always been a champion of diversity and inclusion. I firmly believe that all people are created equally and everyone deserves our respect and support. So I had an opportunity to work for the Saudi Arabian government. I'm an advisor on a project that explores the development of leisure activities on the Red Sea for the Saudi government working for the PIF, the Saudi Public Investment Fund. So to me, what's fascinating about that is the opportunity to develop something that is culturally, socially, religiously respectful of Saudi culture, not only where it's been, but where it is heading. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, if you're looking at BBC, you can't look at Fox or CNN anymore, okay? You got to look at BBC. You got to look at Jerusalem Post. You got to look at Al Jazeera. You got to look at the Frankfurt Allgemeine, if you can speak German, because you need views that aren't politically filtered. I mean, you'll see common thread between certain things, but the extreme opposite, opposites are Fox and CNN. It's sad where our country is. I hate that. I hate where our country is and the divisive nature of where we stand. I have a very basic set of principles that I have followed my entire career. Uh, I've always believed that I need to use common sense and good judgment in everything I do. I'll always take a step back and say, am I doing the right thing? No matter what the issue is, no matter what the protocols are, what the procedures, what the guidelines are, you have to step back and you say, I am, are you doing the right thing? And occasionally, that's rare. You will do things that may be totally inconsistent with corporate conduct, corporate policy, or those kinds of things. You gotta do the right thing, okay? The other thing is integrity. Integrity is absolutely essential to your own success. If your team doesn't believe in you, update your resume and look for another opportunity. If people don't believe in you as being the champion of their future, ultimately you're not going to be successful if you don't have the support of the team. The other thing, and this is very German, I'm very disciplined. And the last thing I've already shared with you, practice what you preach, you know, you know walk in other people's shoes and follow the golden rule. I've always had, those of you who have worked for Disney, have um, have heard of organizational vibrancy. I think it matters. I don't care what your role is in this organization. I would say to all of you, you have a personal responsibility to think creatively and be innovative in everything that you do. You have a personal responsibility. I don't know if you're a receptionist. I don't know if you're a designer. I don't know if you're a person who maintains the technology in this place. I don't know if you're the person who... That's that lovely little dog, okay? You have to be creative in how you take care of that dog, okay? But creativity and innovation are essential to the success of this enterprise. The other thing is I have never believed that I can't do better or that our organization can't do better. The whole concept of continuous improvement has been core to any business I have ever been in. And it, we need to succeed. We need to move forward. And if you become complacent and you become too satisfied with today, you will not succeed tomorrow. The last piece, you know, is really being invested in the success of others. The concept of servant leadership is something I've absolutely adhered to over the course of the years. Do I have an ego? Absolutely. But I will tell you first and foremost, I know when I'm doing my job. I have to satisfy myself that I'm doing my best before I need to satisfy my bosses. You know, Lee Cockrell 
said it best. If I tell Carl once a year he's doing a good job, that's all he needs. That's the way I'm wired. I want an organization that has a culture that starts with a set of values that the organization believes in, that leadership believes in. And if leadership and values are really, really intertwined, you begin to develop a culture that is truly a very live, vibrant culture. 